In this video, we will look at um, a way to capture Spotify, uh, rather songs from Spotify into MB3s in a in a in a really well organized way. So first, we will need the software called Audio Hijack Pro, and uh, I'll leave a link in the notes. So um, and for Audio Hijack Pro to work, we've set up a session, something called a session called the Spotify session, on which um, which we will use to uh, record songs off from Spotify. As you know, is an online music uh, service uh, with uh, with a wonderful collection of songs. Uh, in addition to that, we will we will launch everything using this using the script that um, that people have used and have slightly modified. So what's going to happen is the setup is as follows. I've written a file on uh, all my all my songs that are going to get ripped off from Spotify with very high quality are going to get stored into this music directory which is on the desktop. And I've written a a um, simple simple uh, node node script to watch the directory. And for watching the directory, I'm going to issue the command which is needed uh, to watch the directory and uh, that is here that is uh, why is it not working here it is okay so this is going to watch my directory for any changes that will happen just for demonstration let me just delete this um, song that I had earlier recorded and uh, you'll see there that was deleted and now I'll press ctrl Z and uh, there it's back okay so so we are watching the we, we're watching the directory for file changes now the first thing that we want to do is we want to hijack the Spotify session hijack is something which is an audio hijack per, uh, terminology it basically it basically creates a it hijacks that application basically and and all the all the audio before it gets sent to the sound card passes through this application and uh, and which will which will make which which and uh, and all, all the input from that application will go to this to audio hijack pro first which will start recording the software recording the data and then it will play it out so i press hijack and Spotify should start. There you go. Spotify starts. Okay. So Spotify is starting. Let me minimize a bit. Minimize it a bit. Um, let's play a. I'll keep it in the middle. Okay. So that you can see all the screens. Let's choose a good playlist. Let's go to charts. What is the what are the top charts here? Uh, let's go to some um, viral songs. Let's look at some viral songs and um, let's play it okay so now what's happening you can see is that spotify is playing but the good part is this audio which i am speaking and i'm recording at the same time doesn't isn't an output of the spotify application and therefore that's not going to get recorded uh, so that's really cool because you know it doesn't interfere with the recording now what we need is actually to start the script which was an apple script um, script which will control spotify and also control audio hijack pro and so to do that we will click on the link so this shows the directory it's going to stay up to the music directory like i told you and i choose okay so you see that reset that particular song and now it should start saving that song and i don't understand why it's not saving Oh, okay let me just stop this once again so something went wrong so I press Spotify stop I'll stop the song I will I'll stop the record and now I will play this script again and I think this should work so here you choose it it starts playing it from the start and you will see that song is getting recorded now 
Okay, sorry about that. It's a slight deviation, but this is the way it works. So what you do is you first hijack the application, stop everything, stop the recording, run the script. The script, what it does is it starts off Spotify, it starts off Spotify and starts off the recording at the same time. And so you'll see that the application is saving it. Now, while this is going to be a, this is going to be a three minute song. So what I'm going to do is I'll just cover what the script does. The script basically saves the file to a temp file. Then at the end of the song, we'll rename it using the author or the artist actually. The artist this year is, uh, I think, Chasing Shadows. And um, it puts the song, oh, sorry, it's actually the, like here actually you can see the song, which is a song playing. Yeah. So the artist is, the artist is the second column, the Sandy Gold. Uh, the song is Chasing Shadows and uh, it will also grab the artwork from Spotify or from some other service, I don't remember exactly. And it, every Spotify track is, has a unique ID to it. So it adds it, my idea of adding this with the file name was that if I do this continuously, I will not rip the same songs and just move on to the next song so that because I, I have any way, anyway have the songs locally and I can just listen to them at my convenience. So let's just wait for three minutes and um, enjoy the song and I hope it, um, I hope we will see the next song. So you can see one word mp3 is getting changed continuously. We've got another one and a half minute to go. I am enjoying the song with a bit of scotch. Although this is not changing, it's actually changing. So for example, I do that. And you see it's moving up. Nice song, we've got another 30 minutes to go. 30 seconds, sorry about that. We're not gonna wait that long. I think we are at the end of the song. There you go. So now you should watch the space for the changes and you can see there you go that went changed and there was a renaming and now we have the next song enjoy <laughs> 